Hey guys, welcome back to Do Not Feed the Monkeys. In the last episode, we saw a giant plant give birth to a clone, and some other weird stuff happened as well. I've been reading some comments on the last episode, and I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for all the positive comments, guys. I saw so many people saying that they love this series and can't wait for the next episode, so I hope you enjoy this one as well, and uh, obviously leave a like if you do. Second of all, guys, somebody pointed out something that I probably should have already known, and that's the fact that the reason the old lady was robbed is because I told the people that I work for when she wasn't going to be home. Same thing with the guy who kept ordering from Angelo's Inferno. He disappeared after I gave his address to the people. All right, day 12, level three, four days until evaluation, and I have 20 out of 25 cameras. All righty then. Now this uh, this flower over here, guys, if I do bad things, it uh, it dies, and if I do good things, it, it thrives or something. Hello? Oh, this guy again. Go away, I don't have time for your crap. Maybe if I'm nice to you, the flower will grow, but whatever. Also, I'm gonna sell this doll, because I wanna see what happens. Somebody may have told me what happens, but I wanna see it for myself. What the hell, man, the plant! The plant is blooming less and less! And just the, just the fact that I, I, I told that guy to go away, that might have been why it happened, but um, it happened after I sold the doll, I think. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, oh, okay, cool. She's already hung over. I was gonna say let's send her to the booze, but but we're good. We're good. We just need to remember at around like 18 o'clock or something, we gotta get in there and we gotta record her telling mummy. Oh, what the heck? Oh, guys, that is a naked dude in a tanning bed. What the hell do I do with this? The fact that it's all moving around and stuff's gonna make it hard to blur out. You think I can leave in a little pixelated wiener? You think that? Who knows? Who knows? Tell you what though. I'm not gonna blur it out from here, because I don't have time for that. Guess what? The cage is incompatible with recording, guys. I can't even record that guy in the tanning bed. All right, look. We got Mr. Ziegler. Is that his name? Something like that? Basically Hitler. This guy is literally Hitler. Oh, I'm getting uh, I'm getting kind of hurt, guys, but luckily there's 33% uh, off pizzas. Oh, I've got pizzas. Oh, that brings down my health. That's right. Great. Is there anything that'll bring it up besides fruit and yogurt? Cause who needs that? Oh my God, everything is going off right now. Oh, it's just these guys. It's all good. All right, look, old man, foreign accent, lonely. He is a vulnerable senior. Yeah. Maybe he's just delusional. Maybe, maybe he thinks he's a, a dictator from a foreign country. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Yeah, you need rent. There you go. I don't have a lot of money anymore. Perhaps I'll go to a job. I can't miss out on this girl right here. Very important. Okay, the old man is gone, and we've got a little bit of stuff uh, over here. Not too much, but yeah, we know he's a vulnerable senior. I can look up vulnerable senior and get smiles for seniors. And we just gotta like find out where he lives or something like that. It's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about that one, guys. I've already done it before. But who is this pale Zamaris? This freaky lady with the with the whips and stuff. Let's give her a call. Choop, go um, is, uh, oh, sorry, what did you say? Oh, God, I, I can't, hmm, oh. Uh, are you Peol, what language are you speaking? It may Peol, blah, 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 huh, huh. I don't know what you're saying, I don't know. Okay, whatever, forget it, goodbye. Okay, what studies do I have to do? Cage 12, what is the name of the company? I don't know what the company is, but I'll find out once I, uh, once I record her admitting that she didn't have a fainting spell. What else do we have here? Cage 17, what is the address of cage 17? That is the senior guy, that one's super easy to get. We also have to get the complete address for cage 15, and cage 15 is the one where the plant is. Uh, Happy Green Titan, Arthur Straw. Hey, check that out, that's the guy. He's the guy with, with all the clones. They're all clones of him, nice. Got his number and his address here. So I can give him a call now if I want. Uh, this may or may not be the address of the uh, of the cage. I don't know. Oh, hello, mummy. Of course it's me, Alice. It's so nice to hear your voice. So yeah, we just gotta make sure we record after she gets angry about being asked if she's still sober or something. We both know that I didn't have a fainting spell. Boom. That's that's the one right there. Okay, that's the one. Let's uh let's send that to Shock TV. Boom. Irrelevant, a call center operator at work. We're not even gonna watch the entire video. This isn't worth, oh God. So how do I, how do I do it? 
What are you doing, Peel? There's too much going on here. Gonna take a look at these two people watching TV, guys. We gotta get as much information as we can here. Thank you very much. I need to go grocery shopping before I die. I don't even have very much money. Crap, I'm running out of everything. Uh, can we maybe get a job? Yeah, I need this so bad. So I'm gonna go work, then I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I'm gonna eat a bunch of fruit. This is how I afford to stay alive right here. Oh shit, am I dead? I'm basically dead. Oh! Because you neglected your health too much, you had to be admitted to the city's public hospital. There you caught another five diseases and ended up staying for an entire month? The federal police have been following your movements for some time and your sudden hospitalization accelerated the breakup of the Primate Observation Club. During the investigation, it was uncovered that the club has ties to very influential, influential politicians and business leaders whose names were never revealed. The judge sentenced you to 10 years in prison for your deep involvement with the organization. Amelia Winnipeg recovered from the robbery and managed to amass another huge fortune through charity work. This time by finding good Samaritans to help a Nigerian prince having financial difficulties. After her record sales fell, and on her agent's advice, Ashley Applegate opted for a racier image. You guys have seen this one before in one of the other episodes. Becoming the main character in her own reality sh show, The Hidden Gates of Ashley Apple Nude. Today, photos of her fully clothed fetch high prices on the black market. Once free, Jason Miles died of a heart attack during the vacation he took to celebrate his recent retirement. Well, good for him. At least he got to enjoy it a little bit. Uh, he had vowed to never step into another elevator as long as he lived. His room was on the 18th floor of the hotel. No! So he died from climbing stairs. After the disappearance of Rick Stevens, Crystal Kitchen was torn down to make way for an exclusive country club. As compensation for the loss of their homes, the former residents received a 3% lifetime discount on coat check fees. Wow. Over time, the pain of living and how to overcome it with joy came to be considered a cult literary work. Unfortunately, because of the piracy, it only generates $2 a year in royalties. The Central Museum fired Kevin Elgin after the scandal over the switch of the bus of the Pharaoh, a Menifus 5. He's currently the director of the National Painting Gallery, where he continues to be the subject of controversy and suspicion. Without giving any explanation, President Walker suddenly withdrew from public life and now runs a waterfront cocktail bar on Heaven Hills Bay. As for Jacob Hughes, he, he resigned as CEO of Hexa and is now the head waiter of the establishment. And as for you, the time you spend behind bars led you to reflect on monkeys in cages from a new perspective. Now, thanks to that experience, you are a different person because, ahem, now you are a different person, right? Load game. Let's try that again, because that wasn't fun. Or am I going to immediately die when I load? We're fine. We're fine. So I, I, got, I got a bad ending, but we're back again. I'm going to maybe prioritize not dying. And also, let's see if we can get this thing here to um, maybe grow a little bit instead. I'm gonna work for four hours as a bellhop. I don't know what to do here, guys, honestly, because... Ah, well, at least I avoided paying rent by working. <laughs> that always helps, doesn't it? And um, let me just buy a whole bunch of yogurt and a whole bunch of fruit. Hey, guys, this time it's a lady in a tanning bed. All right, she looks super dead. What's that about? Ugh. Okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do here, guys, is I'm gonna have to um, get this old man situated, okay? I need to um, just call the vulnerable seniors people, smiles for seniors, get his, uh, get his address, and then we'll be good. We can get that cage taken care of. It's a pretty easy one. We've done it a bunch of times now. Um, check the list, yep. We look up Daniel Statler. Yep, there we go. Sunnyside Street. And now we can just go ahead and get that done. Easy. I don't know what's going to happen to him then, though. Uh, because, you know, stuff happens to people if you if you reveal their information to your people. And that'll give me some money. And maybe I won't have to work tonight. Maybe I'll be able to go to sleep instead. Let's sleep for five hours. Does that bring the health up at all? It should be. It's, it's healthy to sleep, right? I don't know if it is, honestly. I don't know if it did anything. Okay, fine. Check it out. I did it. And I got that money. I need a lot of that for my landlady. So this one isn't pending or anything. We still have something else we need to do with this, eh? We can call them ourselves, I suppose. Okay, guys, my flower is not doing well. I don't even care about it anymore, okay? And I'm gonna sell Jimmy. Goodbye, Jimmy. Please don't murder me. Hmm, should we get another camera, guys? I can afford at least one more camera today. Let's get two, okay? That one doesn't have an extra angle. I wanted to check first, because you know, there's friggin' angles. Okay, eight floors of the new city hall building collapse. Oh my god. And look at this. The uh, the dump is on fire as well. Damn, and she is, oh my god. I got her two days in a row with the booze, guys, and now she is just destroyed. 
Maybe that's what I needed all along. Cage 19. What is the name of the adult male monkey in Cage 19? I haven't even taken a look at it yet. This is a clothing store, and this is nothing yet. What is she doing? Just tapping on her computer? Are you going to do any work today, Alice? Or are you too hungover, Alice? Maybe I can just get her to uh, lose her job by being hungover for several days. Oh, Alice is on the phone. She's really having a bad time. These guys got a crying child. Talk to me. What's happening here? You guys are the only ones. Help me out. Commercial. Ever since he saw that damn commercial. Okay. Stop crying. Al can you freaking stop crying already? Jeez, dude. Your kid, maybe you should give him some love. We have enough stress that those reporters camped out on our doorstep. Whoa. Um, fainting spell is completely different. What? I don't care that you don't understand me. Oh. I don't give a shit that you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay. Silly toy. You're the one who spoiled him. Don't give a shit about your policy number. I'm so tired. She's gonna lose her job, guys. And I don't know what's gonna happen then, but okay. Oh, this kid wants a doll. Maybe we should send him a doll, but we need the address first, and that might be hard to find. Well, no, not not if reporters are outside their house. It might be easy to find their address, because they know it. And you, you little monster, shut up already. Jeez, you guys are awful. Look, Mega Deal will buy him that toy he wants as soon as they lift the freeze on our bank accounts, all right? Now that we have other options, we have enough on our plate with that thing with the judge. But this is torture, okay? What do you got going on? 33% off fruit. I'm gonna buy some fruit very soon, because that stuff keeps me alive. Oh, hey, check it out. The kid and the mom are leaving. And now he's leaving too. He's cleaning up. What a nice guy. Oh, knock on the door. Who could it be? It's landlady! Today you have one baby. That's cool. You can shove your policy number where the sun don't shine. I never asked you for it. To hell with your policy. <laughs> I think she might actually be drunk and not even hung over. Oh, spanking. Oh, that was that was something that I needed. Nice. So she says spanking as supus. So I think I might be able to sex. Oh, no results on the internet for that. Got to pay attention to this guy and his crying child who is still crying. Wow, what an annoying kid, right? How's your homework going, sweetie? Oh, I can tell it's going great. Complaints. Ignore your complaints to avoid feeding your frustration. Okay, that's what Super Nanny says. Isn't that right, you little noise machine? Mom and I made a deal. As soon as we know that Daddy isn't going to prison, we'll buy you that thing you want so much. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, Mom, yeah, of course it's Alice. Okay, today I don't feel very well. I don't feel well at all. Am I drunk? Is that what you're asking me? That's the only thing that matters to you, right? Well, I mean, Jesus, you kind of killed somebody. Yes, Mommy, I'm drunk. I'm very drunk, mummy. Ooh. Send it. Send it! Irrelevant, of course. Shall we talk about my fainting spell, mummy? Shall we talk about the trial you and, and you and daddy's money? I just want, I'm gonna hang up. Okay, so, hold up. We gotta send her more booze, okay? We gotta keep sending her booze because we're getting, we're getting somewhere. I didn't realize that doing it multiple days in a row would actually do anything. Boom, there you go. Got nothing on Cage 19 yet, guys. Just a few words. This one is going great, but I don't know what to do with it. And um, I'm going to call Peel and ask her for some SEX. Oh, I just got another thing. Love. Love and sex. No. Passionate kiss. Oh, man. We're getting a lot more stuff here now. Yeah. And uh, this guy is doing his thing, and that thing is doing a thing, too. Cool. Okay. They're eating dinner now, and the kid is still crying. I'm still getting stuff from Peel. He's been crying all day. What are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe stop doing whatever you did to make him cry in the first place. Cyber trash case. What? Your dad is about to go to prison, you spoiled brat. Whoa. So forget about the crap they advertise on TV. He got bored with it. You know he's not good at riding things with wheels. Okay, okay, okay. Seems that this latest toy he wants is for smart kids. Okay, maybe we'll find out our son is a genius. I got to look this stuff up. And I also got to make some money. This kid has literally been crying all day long. Poor guy. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can find out here. We got, um, hmm, it's an educational toy. That's what I know, genius toy. Nope, toy commercial. Nope, TV toy. Commercial, t TV commercial. Mm -mm. Prison, cyber trash case. Ah, John Slender, that's the guy. And now we can look up John Slender. And we can get his number, okay. We don't have his address yet. So this guy did some fraud, eh? Okay, okay. I'm really hungry. Hungry and dying. 
That's how I like to live my life. Sugar. Four hours of this, and then I'm gonna buy food with it. Oh, that's right, the fruit. The fruit has a good sale on today. I'm buying $40 worth of it. Ugh. Mm, fruit gives you two hearts, guys. That's what I need. That'll give me 20. All right, I feel a lot better now. Good. I still need to work, though. I gotta go back to work again. Huh. Day 14. 22 cameras. Two days until the next evaluation. The landlady will be back tomorrow. Huh. Okay. Cassidy Hotels Eris dies. Alice Cassidy, 24, died as a result of an automobile accident last night. A pre preliminary investigation suggests that the victim was driving under the influence of alcohol. Oh my god, I killed her! What the hell? Lethal use of DCB still rising. Dozens of dead, cold, buddy addicts die each day in the city's most rundown areas. I don't know what that's about. Presidential campaign comes to a close. Best-selling drink is water. Cool. Guys, what the hell, man? I cannot believe I killed Alice Cassidy. Does that mean it's closed? It's closed. It's done, guys. Wow. I... Whew. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Honestly, I'm a little bit disturbed by the fact that I basically just murdered Alice Cassidy. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.